Hello, I'm Michael Zalapsky, and everyone needs fireworks. Whether you're celebrating Independence Day in the USA, New Year's Eve, Guy Fawkes Day, Diwali, Chinese New Year, or my birthday, let's make some fast! We are here in the Trapco Particular Designer, and we are going to make these particles be shooting up because this is, you know, fireworks after all, they're gonna be going up in the air. Rotate that emitter 90 degrees, they're going up. And we'll make this a box emitter because we do not want it to just be coming from one spot. And we don't need them to be linked. Um, we're gonna make it pretty nice and wide, but small in the other two. I don't know, like maybe five pixels in both of those. So we just need them kind of shooting up and we'll move it way down to the bottom here. And they need to be getting a lot more velocity shooting up, up, up. Now they're slowing down as they reach the top because we've got some air density in here, which is fine because we're probably gonna want a little bit of air movement on there. So we'll have it affect the position just a touch as they go up. And we probably want some gravity as well. Crank that up a little bit. And that means we need more velocity. So we'll push them up, 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 even more. And probably a little bit more randomness as well. So we have some popping down here and some popping up there. We also need a lot fewer. Um, we don't need quite that many uh, fireworks. We'll do a five per second and let's give them some more fireworky colors. We'll pick random gradient. It is still June as I'm recording this. So, hey, we could go with the Pride Month colors, but I think we're gonna go more uh, fireworky tones. Uh, you know, pinks and blues and purples. Let's do, let's do this, uh, let's do this tulip one. But we'll change this kind of greeny color to more of a bright yellow. So there we go, some nice fireworky colors. And I think that'll do it for our main ones. Now we'll add the explosions coming off of it. We'll say, hey, you are going to emit from the parent system. You aren't gonna happen continuously. You're gonna happen at the parent end of life and you're going to get your parents' colors mostly. So there you go. Um, you don't need to live that long. They're gonna be probably, probably a second with a lot of randomness. Well, not a lot, maybe 30%. It's pretty good. Uh, they're gonna need more, a bit more bang to them. Coming out wider. Let's see what they look like. Pow, pow, pow. It's pretty good. Now we'll have some trails kind of, oh, you know what? Let's, let's make these, instead of spheres, let's give them little uh, stars to make them look a little more twinkly. As they go off, there we go. I don't know. It's up to you how you want to do that. You could add star glue or something else later. Uh, let's make some trails coming off of some of these main ones here. So we'll make another new system and we'll see you are coming off of the parent system, but you're gonna make the primary system, but not all of them. We're going to see the mid probability is about 20%. So only 20% of them will have those little trails coming off. Um, we don't need much velocity because it's just going to be a little trail, just a little bit. And uh, the velocity per meter motion, they kind of, they're shooting down. Um, so we want that to be like negative some amount as they shoot down off the main fireworks. There we go. They need to live uh, less time as well. Probably about uh, one second or so, maybe 0.6 with about good bit of randomness, they kind of trail off. And we need them to kind of, I think those can fade out a bit. So we'll do preset and we'll let those kind of fade. As I go, that looks good. And uh, we'll give them maybe a bit of a yellower color as well. Uh, kind of a nice little kind of orangey tone there. And you know, we could even make it, uh, we could even make them screen. In fact, let's make, let's make these ones screen as well. So you go, we've got some nice fireworks going on. Now you might want some of these to be trails as well. We can we can make trails come off of those, why not? So we will add um, emit from parent system and you'll be parent system two. And then when they go, we will look at them. But we'll say, hey, you're gonna get your color from the parent all the way. You are going to be uh, definitely not uh, living very long at all, 0.5, with some randomness. And, um, we don't need to be coming out that many either. We'll say uh, from the parent speed and we'll take particles per second down to like 30 or so. And no velocity on that at all. None. So there we go, nice little particle trails. And we'll make those screen as well. And we'll make the particle size smaller. So there you go, fireworks, fast. And you can customize these to look a bunch of different ways. You could add smoke, you could add sparkles, you could add tropical star glow to them. There is so much you could do. This is just a quick basic thing. Less than five minutes and you've got some amazing looking fireworks with Trapcode Particular. Happy holiday, whichever one you're celebrating.